Hello there. My name is Ace and on this video, I would like to help you out on walking you through on how to start up in this game called Three Kingdom Tactics. So, okay, let's start. See, because I use, I'm playing a 326 server at Red Lives, but it's now currently under Season 2. So, what we're going to do right now, uh, I'm going to teach you or walk you through on how to start up a game. So right now, the, the latest server would be S355 Everlasting Strategy. So we're going to use that. So, okay, here we go. So let's add a little background music. Okay, so z right now it will, it will show you on a start up video. So it will walk you through on the starting up. So this is the old man. You just it's just a straightforward thing. So you just it's either you, you read all of them or just skip it. So for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna skip of it. But here guys, this is the most uh, important part when you start up with the with the game. So let me just show you because from the wiki page, it shows here on the wiki page that um, there are there are ways for you let me just let me just lower that let's see there we go so it says here that if you want to start up with the games you will just follow a pattern for a possible for, for if you just follow this the, the, the path so you can get a specific reward that you'll be getting you'll see here from the ruler you'll get if you choose all a which is from this part a will be choosing all of this this is a and b and c so going back with the wiki it says there that if you choose all A, you'll get 1300 tactic points and a an equipment which is which gives plus six uh, equip to the one who will uh, to the one who will use it to the character rather. So you get plus six. So it, it's either you chose or all B or C, you you get this certain number. Among this three. I would suggest choosing the ruler, so all A. Why? Because on the on the rewards too, which is this this equipment, you can only use or use this equipment once your character managed to reach level twenty. So if you're going to start with the game, it will take some time for your character to reach level twenty, enable for you to use the, the item. However, from on the rewards one, that's why I want, I, I prefer the ruler because it will give you automatically 1300 tactic points, which is you can immediately use that to the character. I think it will. Let me just show you later to what level that that tactic points, uh, that tactic level would reach for for 1300 tactic points. You can also choose uh, the virtues, which is all B, but having 50,000 coins so you're it's you, you won't be sure of what you can get from that you might be lucky to pull out a four star general from from the coin but also the payoff if you didn't manage to get all um a four star general you will be getting a three star or even two star general and if you convert them to uh tactic points it would be lower than the 1300 but yeah it's also a good choice you can take a risk either 50,000 coins or the 13 uh, 1300 tactic points but for me I will I prefer to choose the the ruler so that's what I will be doing so I will be choosing the all a so let me just all a click the a a a a and a there we go. So once you manage to push the, choose all the options, they'll be asking for your name. 
or even an avatar first. So let's see. Uh, let's choose this guy. See, you managed to get 1300 tactic points and an int. Which is pretty good. This is going to be pretty useful for even for a strategy character. But even if you're not a strategy character, the plus six also gives you a, a defense from strategy damage. But yeah. So let me just my name. Let's see if someone has already let me use the name. I hope nobody has taken it yet. Oh, I'm lucky. There we go. So according to my prediction, whatever, blah blah blah. Okay. So this is the first part of uh, playing the game. Okay, here you can choose whatever uh, whatever um, area you would like to play with. But it says here, most likely this is going to be uh, a lot of, this is like a Chinese server. So there are a few there are you, you can choose whatever in 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 a in a normal in global you can just choose either because uh, a specific location that has its bonuses so as you can see here if you choose navy it gives peer to two percent damage and fame plus 50 and if you're gonna use jangdong um uh, bows have 22 percent Bow damage and fame, Jingchu. Uh, this is more more on the resources. It gives you plus one hundred coin production and three hundred, which is this is pretty good actually. And Siliang gives you cavalry five percent speed and iron. So most likely, if you want to play it smart, I would suggest Jingchu. But if you're in a, actually it depends. If you have a friends with you that you decided to move on a certain uh, location, I would suggest you would move to that area. But as a single player, maybe Jingchu is the right choice for you since it gives you uh, coin production and wood production at the same time. I mean, all of them are good. It gives you specific bonus damage, uh, bonus damage for a certain class, but you'll never know. That's why it's safe for, for me, it's safe to choose Jingshu. So I will choose Jingshu. There you go. So the game is very uh, nice. It will help you all the way. It will assist you since two since Tuko Liang will be there to help you with on how to play the game. So let's go. So I'm just gonna skip this out. Okay. So for the starters, you just recruit. Most likely you'll get a uh, This will be the basic. So every time you create an account, this will be the the default character that you will be getting. So return. So you just need to deploy. Deploy the two generals. Oh, two characters. So these are three star. They're really not that good, but. Yeah, for starting the game, yeah, they're okay. So return, return. It says here, so you click and conquer. Deploy. Conquer. So, Kaoshu will conquer the, st the tile. So, this is just gonna be a. Normally, when you do battles, it doesn't really show this kind of graphics. But I've been requesting the the developers that maybe in every battle that they can do this because it would be pretty awesome to have like a graphic, a gra visual graphics when doing battles. This would be awesome. So 
there we go so just manage to conquer one tile the first tile so whenever you conquer a a a level one tile you'll get a farm 50 farm Okay, so you're, you're commanding for the officer to return after conquering a tile. It consumes 15 stamina. And every, this is going to be your morale. Every tile that you, you take, it reduces minus one morale. So it's better to, when you do battles, to keep it as high as possible. Okay. okay someone was attacking. And... One ping to the rescue. One of my favorite characters from the book. So aside from the first two characters that you managed to pull, one thing would be one uh would be there. So it's asking for you to assist them. Use the spear. Why? Because spear counters cavalry. So you choose and march out. So assist Gwomping. So it will show again some A graphics. Again, I'm I'm hoping the devs would would show this all the time to every battle. See, that would be pretty, pretty cool. Just an option. So they're doing battles now. See, it's showing because normally on on a, on a normal game, uh, on a normal game, they don't show these graphics. I hope, I just hope that they would give it as an option, just to give spice to the battle sequence instead of just reading some text. Because normally it's just like this. The the game, it, it's just like this. You don't see any graphics. It shows a text how the battle started. There you go. So you can retreat. All right, we got Quamping on our side. So that's going to be our first four-star general. He's pretty good for a even for a even for a four-star unit. Even up to now, I'm still using him. It's pretty good. So there we go. Su Geilang already gave his advice. So no worry. Even though he's not there anymore, he we st can still just follow the mission. So and here we go. So we're now on our own. So just to help you out, guys, you can follow the mission here. So conquer one piece of empty land or higher. So with this, you can just stick to this to the to the to the mission and once you manage to get it you get extra resources from it so i would suggest you would uh follow the instructions for the for the mission but i'll show you some advanced um ad advanced tips as well along the way from my videos but for now i just wanted to just to get the hang of the game there we go so once you started you get a free pool hopefully you get something good with it but again um it's not really reliant on what units that you got so if you're a free to play a free to play player it's fine even though if you don't get uh five star officers like like these units you can still really do good uh so you can be a free to play or pay to pay to play it's still good um but yeah, I'll show I'll show it to you later on. What's the best uh, way to spend your if you're planning to decide to support the game, which I would encourage you to. For a small amount, you'll be 
getting some good benefits but right now let's see what i could be getting from this hopefully i'll be lucky enough to get a legendary or a general whatever works here we go let's see okay i got another horse or general not bad still okay so let's see if i have gold i could probably get see the good thing about it here even if you don't spend every 12 hours or less but 12 hours or 11 11 hours and 30 minutes every every time there will be a free pool and after you manage to get a free pool you'll have a 50 percent off to get another pool as well so normally i just use the free pools and use the extra 50 percent pool as well it's not bad so if you can see sign in rewards on the second day you get pangde third day lidian jiling on the fifth day you get um uh, zenji which is these are already the generals as well and on the 30th day you get yuan xiao which is one of the good characters so yeah even though without spending you can still get decent units as well so alliance mission expansion so here once you manage to expand your power uh, your power uh you manage to get some acquire some resources gear so the question is the power uh how do you get increased power so every time you conquer a tile it shows here you get plus three power an empty tile or level two food you get plus 20 so the higher the the tiles the more it gives you um power points so right now i'm having i'm only have three power so i just need to conquer tiles so it's okay so let me go back there let me just walk you through and then ranking events so you just need to have a higher power ranking with and siege rewards rogue riders warlord campaign which is all you will manage to obtain this eventually so yeah so right now let's see uh, let's just add remove this unit and add kautzen so this is going to be your primary unit for starters so here's the here's the tip okay here you add the second so the important thing is you will have two units why two units one will be the primary uh prime primary unit and the other one will be someone that will just pave the or clear out the way so let's say right now let's just since guanping and uh Kautzen will be the one that's going to be your primary unit so just we just need to clear one empty tiles so just for Kaozin to level up and then this second unit and the second unit they will be the one who will just pave the way for let's say for instance you want to get connected with the level one or or two instead of clearing the tile for the main unit you can just use just the second unit just to to pave the way so once you manage to cause you manage to clear this unit manage to clear this tile you can use Guan Ping to get the the this units as well as to get more EXP. So right now I have my opponents here. So we are still oh wow, we managed to get very close to another unit here. It's fine. I'm still under we are both under protection. If he attacks me, he would lose his protection. So right now we're just mining our own let's see let's by the way let's collect the 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 rewards that we have from answering the question so the question earlier is how many tactic points how many level that we can obtain from a thir 13 uh 1300 so let's just level up the puncture so since from the start we get 1000 tactic points and 1300 so let's see one two three four five so it's okay just to get a five level five um level five tactics for for starters 
Okay, that's it. Five and four. I think that's enough. So I think that's enough already. So let's see. So with that, so we manage. That's why for me it's important to get um uh, the the all a the ruler one, so you can get um. You can you can at least have uh, you can level up your your main units to five and four, so it's pretty beneficial. It's very important to have a higher level so you can, it you can easily clear some tiles to start up with. So there we go. So you may I'm not gonna take level three yet, but wait, I let me just return the unit first, so I can replenish a unit. So normally at the start of the server, you'll see a lot of people will be summoning, uh, summoning to get to get their chances to get uh, a better unit. Okay. There you go, and of course you need to start up, leveling up the palace and the warehouse. So while we're doing that, a okay, you take. Level one, one ping. We'll take this one. I might be end up joining this skill this with with this eventually. He's pretty aggressive, trying to get all my resources. But okay, as long as it's not gonna touch my resources. Okay, promote it again. I level up the farm and quarry. But more likely, try to continue building up the warehouse to increase the capacity because one of the more level that you have to level the, pal the palace, it will ask more uh, capacity. So right now, the cap is around 30k. It's still good, but it's better to gradually uh, uh, build up the warehouse as well. So you can also, if you want to rush things, you can you can upgrade, but it will cost you... 15 uh 15 uh 1500 coins you can do that eventually but right now you can just wait for it because the only the the cooldown the running time the building time is only less than a, mi a minute or so so maybe later on when you have a lot of resources and longer time maybe you can start doing that but for now it's okay so the, your me your main unit is trying to get level one tiles and what the other your your second unit will just need to find other un other tiles to connect with. So let's see, level four, level three. Um, since you've already connected here, four. You can just build. You can just attack here. Just to get connected to higher level unit, have higher level tiles rather. Since one thing after you manage to get this, you can capture this. The level one, level two. So we have many options. So right now I'm just ex letting the second unit uh, take the other tiles, connecting with the higher resource tiles. So okay. So if you're going to decide to um, to top up or to 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 pay, so you will have a bonuses here. So if you manage to top first recharge you'll get the free sun gen and another 500 tactic points which i would strongly recommend so when you press recharge it can be you can spend either of this any of this uh top up so you can you can just for just one dollar you'll have a free um five star unit with sun gen and aside from that if you manage to charge uh 680 let's say 680 gold that's just only Actually, if you just manage to um, manage to, I would strongly suggest to purchase this because every day, um, every day you'll be get, getting um, you'll be getting some jade. Oh, hold on. Sorry about that. No, there you go. So. When you get the gold monthly card every day, you get 150 jade and or silver. You can get both of this. So every day you can get 210 uh, jade, which you can convert it to gold. 
this is uh, I would strongly recommend for you guys to get this you don't have to purchase the other the other uh, top up so just for this you can actually get uh, Sun Jin or if you manage to reach 680 Jade you can get Sun Chai as well and if you manage to top up around uh, 1000 1280 you can get as much as 3840 so just a small price to get some uh, to get a good deal out of it so let's see let me try if I can call no not yet let's just return for now let's see and we just just keep on connecting for now keep on connecting connecting there you go okay this guy is trying to attack harass me getting my resources but it's fine so i just need to cover my tracks here Wow. So yeah, for now this is it. So again, uh, my, my major ad ad advice to you guys is just create two units. So the the first you the first unit will be your main your main unit, and the second one will be uh, someone that will just pave your pave your units. Someone that just just clear the tiles. Okay. So okay, there we go. Let's see. So right now, uh, I'll also sh show you another video on best advice. So right now, my opo my neighbor is trying to cover my trying to cover as well here. This is going to be a bloody battle, but I might end up joining him as a lion. So no need to do war for for the meantime. So yeah. So I'll probably cover the tiles here. So hopefully I can manage to after I manage to finish conquering this tile, I'll go directly here and cover it. So yeah. Let's see. Oh I need to get this tile. There you go. So yeah, for again make two units the one would be the main units the one that which is my one ping what they will do is so i will be so again the main units one the main unit will be clearing the higher level tiles and the second unit will be the one who will be clearing some of the zero tiles as well okay oh luckily we did not fight each other so i'll just conquer the tiles here so yeah that's it um I'll do another video again for creators, but for now it's more on about just creating the character and how to con uh, how to effectively getting uh, leveling up your characters and getting the utilizing the stamina for your characters by having one one main unit which is Guan Ping, and then the one called Sen which is I pulled from the from the first pull, and then the second unit Kao Xiu and uh, Sun Ken from the free unit that was provided to us so the this unit will be the one just taking zero tiles just to connect you with the higher level tiers uh, hi, hi, higher level tiles for your main unit to, to conquer okay so again this is ace and have a good day